My mind is a blank, just like the paper or the canvas. It's a blank. And when I start working, that's when things evolve and I get absorbed in what's in front of me. And sometimes it seems like a stroke from above that guides my hand to do something or other because I can see just what to do where. Does that sound right? I wasn't influenced by any artist in history, although I studied the history of art. And after I do something, it can maybe remind me of something, but while I'm working is when I find my own language, my own calligraphy. I take out the paper and whatever I want to work with, if it's watercolor or markers or a little wax resist. And what I like to do is just start off with nothing particular in mind, but a few brush strokes a few hand drawing and then I like to look at what is appearing on the paper and I can maybe turn it upside down or add to it or try some other medium on the same thing until I start seeing images and some of the images come from my subconscious, I guess, but it comes from years of observations and travel and looking at nature, and I seem to have an affinity for the avian species, so I enjoy the bird imagery and animals. We've traveled to Egypt and Africa, and, and I, I love to notice birds and how they take care of their young in the nest, and they're a, usually a very good example for the human species. I'd never had a real retrospective, but this one has works from my very first works of wax on pickle barrel tops <laughs> to screen prints of images from safari in Africa. There's all the different types of works that I've done in between, and they all connect. I was leaving the JCC uh, taking down a show of some watercolors when we were going to the unloading dock in the back, and my son Andrew said, Mom, can you do anything with those? And he pointed to a metal thing, and I saw just the top of it and thought, oh, it might make a good little stand for a, a little sculpture. And I said, sure. So he said, how many do you want? I said, how many do they have? He says, oh, I don't know. So the next thing I know, in my studio comes four or five of these great big metal things. The next thing you know, a truck comes with 15 more. And before you know it, I've got 30 of these huge metal things in my studio. And I thought, my God, the tribes have arisen and I can turn them all into tribes, which I did. So they're in the show. And then I got into these warriors 
six foot tall things of discarded junk. And all of my kids started bringing me everything that was broken. Cell phones, disc, shavers. And I started putting them together and came up with a dozen of these six foot tall shaman, I call them. And then decided they need children. So I got out these wires that you grow tomatoes on, and I built those into children's sculptures using my husband's, may he rest in peace, I used his neckties that I'd painted on, drew faces on them, I put earrings on them, necklaces, and I had a collection of eight children, and they're in the show also. The work over the years, like 50, 60 years ago, is similar to what it is today because I still work spontaneously and freely and see things that I like to recognize and just pull them out of the whatever I'm working on. And that's the way each piece evolves. Over at ODU, I worked for seven years with a famous artist, local artist, Charles Sibley. And of course he, after the first lesson or two, he told me I was an artist and that I should just keep putting one stroke after another. And I told him, maybe I want to be a figure ice skater. How do I know I want to be an artist? But he said, you are, and you just keep working at it. Then I studied for seven years with Ken Daly. He was the head of the department and a professor of printmaking. And I worked on my master's with his guidance, and I owe a lot to him because he was an influence in my life. What do you do with them now? I play gin rummy with them now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I did was was different, and people seemed to realize that it was not influenced by any other artist, local or present or past, but it's my own style, and it seemed to be have a freedom about it which is like the birds, they're a symbol of freedom. What are your favorite works of art of yours? The next ones I'm gonna paint. <laughs> <laughs> 